is the oh, Peace yeah, Walk for oh, Nagasaki today and they're praying to the Queen of England, the Dolphin Queen. If you look there, there's lots of dolphin legendary statues and lions and angels. And they're praying for peace and world disarmament and the lavender. And we're asking Harry and William to conscientiously object and look around Victoria at the dolphin stories. All these dolphins are swimming around Queen Victoria and the dolphin is a symbol of peace, legendary and love. And it's Nagasaki today. We don't want any more deaf, disabled, dying people in war. And we'd like a multi-faith day of forgiveness, peace and reconciliation. Make a garden of peace. We're walking now to the Catholic Cathedral. There it is in the distance. And from there, with Japanese, Buddhists, Christians, Muslims and Catholics, we're going to walk to the Peace Pagoda. Here's the Queen of the Dolphins. Lovely garden of peace. People are here from all over the world and we'd ask her to have an international day of world peace and forgiveness using the dolphin and lions as symbols of pride, peace and joy and the unicorn and the dolphin symbols all across the gates and the lion and the unicorn together Islam and Christianity Judaism and Christianity working for world peace there they are walking off down to the Peace Pagoda and the ducks are flying for peace there. We've got them flying and there they are flying for peace. The geese. Geese for peace. Geese for peace. From the ancient oriental spirit of forgiveness, the ancient English oriental spirit of forgiveness we asked for reconciliation, day of understanding and World Disarmament on Nagasaki Day. This is Mama Purple promoting gardens for peace and harmony and love. Babies for peace. Walking past, ah! walking past the shrine here. <laughs> the International Commonwealth. They're singing Nam Haringikyo. This means in the love and heart of your spirit. May peace and forgiveness come to you wherever you are on the planet for understanding and forgiveness from one nation to another England being the International World Trade Center world let it be a world peace center for 2012 using the dolphins as a symbol and the lions and the unicorns and we are walking to Battersea Peace Pagoda do you want to say why you're here today would you like to say why you're here today? No, no other life. Um, today's Nagasaki Day and I'm a Catholic. And Nagasaki was one of the most Catholic towns in Asia when it was bombed. Was it? Predominantly by an all-Catholic bomb crew. Oh, extraordinary. Yeah, so here, out here and out of a spirit of repentance. Right, fantastic. Well done. Well, this will be downloaded on the YouTube tomorrow. Okay. And give me your uh, link it in. Do you think the Queen in her lifetime will put? Yeah. I never knew that, did you? The Nagasaki was a Catholic community. Yeah, but I, I, I knew because Kieran told me. Oh, are you a Catholic? Yeah. yeah. Right. Extraordinary, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and then the, the, um, the, the priest who blessed the bomb right. later on had a turn of whatever and realised 
A priest so then, blessed the boat. A priest actually, a Catholic priest actually blessed what, the in bomb America? crew. Not in America? The, not the, yeah, not the bomb itself, but in... In America? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. He blessed a the Catholic crew. priest in America? Yeah, but then he had him. a... Then he had a big change of heart a few really? years later and realised and then spent the rest of his life doing, you know, things for peace. Do you know what his name was? Ask Kieran. Oh, was, right. yeah. We'll do another interview with him in a minute. Yeah. Kieran! Kieran, what was the name of the priest who repented in America? Uh, George Zabelka. It was what? His name was George Zabelka. George Zabelka. Well, George Zabelka, we're walking for you, love. So wherever you are on the planet or in heaven, may God forgive you as we're trying to forgive today. This is the Nagasaki Walk. World Trade Center, Dolphin City. Mama Rainbow's Purple promoting. Yet again, another attempt at world peace. Go shopping, listen to some music, find some love. Have some food, go to some poetry. Look at this incredible life. There's some pink flowers. One love from... St. James's Park, walking into Victoria. <laughs> 